Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. Hey, I did I did something. I mean, in all honesty, it means absolutely nothing. It's just interesting data. That's it. Flowbench can't can't design an exhaust port. Definitely not a header on the Flowbench. Um, it's definitely good for velocity, and that's kind of what I was playing with here today. Um, the thing about an exhaust port you got to remember is the exhaust port is all about area. So if you want to go faster, you need more area because the heat is also an accelerator. So area is your best friend in the exhaust port. But what I did today was I floated. I just grabbed a head. I floated with no pipe. I floated with this uh, pipe here. And I float it with the header. And here, here are the numbers. Uh, you might find them interesting. So this, this right here is with uh, no pipe. This is with the little six inch pipe. This is with the header. So I'll give you a little bit here so you can, so you can study that. What I did do though was the beautiful thing about a flow bench is you can use a balanced pitot tube. This is a straight. This is for exit speeds. This is an Audi. Uh, so the Audi bench, um, if you don't want to use software, it has everything laid out for you right there. Uh, temperature of the bench, the flow, how much depression, and the pitot tube speed. So here's what's interesting. So without, without a header tube or header pipe on an exhaust port, dead center of this port right here, was 296 feet per second. So if you follow that one all the way down, I took the collector off and I stuck my pitot tube dead center of the end, 230 feet per second. 28 inch primary. So that's how much velocity it lost through the, all the turbs bins. And I know this is probably not ideal, but the situation I have with the car <coughs> is crazy. So... I got to do what I got to do. Another thing I did, stuck the pitot tube with the one at 800 lift, velocity dead center, 169 feet per second. This is a 2750 choke. I went in here at the choke, dead center, 190 feet per second. <coughs> so remember, got a lot more things going on. We got We got more than one tube. Ending up here, we got pulses, which are the most important thing on a header. Uh, but it's just interesting that on velocity-wise, CFM-wise, what what is lost actually through the length of the header. And what I, what I find really interesting is people always want this number here for simulators or the cam guy. In reality, if you look at these two numbers, they're way more closer than than this number here i mean let's look at an inch here we'll take an inch yes a lot of guys run an inch of lift so no pipe 230 with the pipe and made 14 more look at that 225 so it was within five rather than being 14 high so that's a, that's probably something more that i learned more than anything today was um, I know people want pipe numbers, cam guys, simulators, that kind of deal. But these two right here are a little more real, real world. Um, and I actually, like I've said earlier at the end of the day, these numbers mean nothing on a flow bench. You can't design a port on a flow bench. So I just thought I'd take a little time. I found it interesting. Um, I can click it on here and you can listen to it. It sounds pretty cool through the pipe. Just one header though, just re or one 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 cylinder. Let's go up here and we'll go back to test. New test sensors. Okay, are we on. Okay. Test start. Mm -hmm. 